And Fed Chair Jerome Powell saying the Federal Reserve will proceed carefully on the path for interest rates. And while Powell declined to say he expects a so-called soft landing for the economy, Fed's economic projections imply confidence in that possibility. Here to discuss what may come next for the Fed, we have Nick Timoros, Chief Economics Correspondent for the Wall Street Journal. So, Nick, let me start off by just getting your reaction to the, what the Fed did and said yesterday. The investors had a day to think it over. It looks like all three major indexes finishing the day in the red, Nick. But let me get your thoughts. Well, I think the big story today is what you've seen in the bond market. Yields way up for the long end. And there's an irony here, which is that, you know, there was a there was some concern that folks had that, well, as the Fed got closer to the end and signaled a pause, yields might come down. That would ease financial conditions in a way that would be unhelpful to the Fed in achieving what they want here, which is to keep downward pressure on the economy. Um, but in fact, you're seeing the opposite. The market has moved closer and closer to where the Fed has been for a while, which is that it would take longer uh, to get on top of the inflation problem. And so the Fed wouldn't cut as soon as the market has anticipated. And so what you're seeing now could actually lead to the tightening in financial conditions that we didn't get earlier uh, when the Fed was raising rates faster, but the market was saying, well, you'll cut sooner, you'll cut sooner. And so you didn't see you know, mortgage rates rise uh, nearly as much as they have in the last few weeks. Is that in some ways the market doing the, the, the work for the Fed? Absolutely. I think that's absolutely right. And so I do think it calls into question, you know, this debate now over whether the Fed's going to go up again this year. Uh, you had, you know, a clear majority in the in the economic projections yesterday, 12 officials saying they thought they'd need to go again, seven who didn't. But that's also, a, you know, that's a pretty sizable group on both sides. And so I think the data is going to be in charge here. And I'm not sure you can have a lot of confidence that the Fed will do what they said they would do in the dots unless you have a lot of confidence that the economy will perform according to the assumptions. I think the dots tell a story about sort of one uh, economic outcome, one set of outcomes. And so if the economy unfolds according to that set of outcomes, then the dots are a pretty good guide for what the Fed's going to do. But that hasn't been the case over the last 18 months. The economy's behaved differently, I think, from how everybody uh, who was, you know, putting down those uh, those projections anticipated. And so you've seen a higher interest rate path.